I'm Rally Cats. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited about this peachy look today. I'll be doing my very best to thoroughly explain the process of creating this fun and glowy 3D peach look. Let's get started. I'm going to begin by prepping my eyes with LA Girl HD Pro Concealer as a base for my eyeshadow. Once applied, blend it out with the sponge and do not set it with the powder. Don't forget to get under your lower lash line too. Using the Juvia's Place Zulu palette, I'm going to pack on this tangerine orange shade. Heavily lay on this color in your crease just before the outer V of your lid. Taking the Festival palette by Juvia's, I'm going to take the shade Manwu. It's a pretty pinky peach shade, and I'm going to place it above the orange I just placed. Did you know that Manwu means masquerade? I just learned that the other day. Hopping back to the Zulu palette, I'm going to take this bright yellow and pack it above the Manwu shade. So now I'm going to begin blending the shades. I'm using two different brushes. The first brush is to blend out the darker shades, and the second brush is to blend out the lighter shades. Back to the Festival palette, I'm taking the shade Izafa because I want to intensify the color. I'm going to place the shade in my crease, in the inner third of my lid. Taking the peach from the Jackie Ina and Artist Couture collab, I'm going to place this highlight on my lid. It will give us like a pretty rose gold glow and really add to the overall look. Blend out any extra pigment with a small fluffy blending brush. For my blush, I'm going to be using the Zulu palette. I'm taking yellow, this hot pink, and this orange to create peachy tones. Alternating between the three shades, I'm going to heavily pack on the colors across my face. These colors are to resemble the skin of a peach. Using NYX Retractable Lip Liner and the shade Coco, I'm going to go ahead and tight line my waterline. Then I'm going to go ahead and spread it out with a hot pink shadow. Using Ava Beauty's eyeshadow topper in Champagne Mommy, I'm just going to go ahead and put it over my lids just to give it some more sparkle. Now let's begin the peaches. I'm using Mayron Paradise paint in white, and I'm going to be using this as my base color. The easiest way to go about this is to think of everything as its own individual shape. Peaches are circular, so I'm going to draw the silhouette of a circle. And I'll go ahead and paint on about two or three of those. Next up are the peach slices. So the best way to think of this is like those little hard banana candies called runts. Ugh, those were so gross to me. You can place these little banana shaped slices wherever, but I'm going to put a few in front of the circles that I've previously painted out, just so that once it's all said and done, it's more dimensional. Sincerely, it's just my imagination drifting. Brush me off like the dirt on Jay-Z's shoulder so I fall to the ground and collect myself and get ready to take over your heart. Or at least your spare time. The best way that I can explain to make this look three-dimensional is to bring the color all to one central point. Alternating between yellow and orange and bringing that to the center. I don't know. I love the thought of being with you. To add depth, I'm going to shade the bottom with the brown eyeshadow just to make it look like it's coming off of my face. But I also really love not crying on the we should go get a cup of coffee and I'll act friendly. 
and I won't pull any stunts, but I'm a freaking stunt I'm going to shade with some of the red. And just a reminder, I'm still using the same palettes as earlier. Scones, I just want to tell you real quick, real quick. Here I'm taking a brown eyeshadow and an eyeliner brush and I'm beginning to draw in where the stem is going to be. The eyeshadow from the Zulu palette wasn't dark enough so I picked up a Morphe palette and used a dark eyeshadow from there to fill in the rest of the shading. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Your boyfriend made you mad the other day. What was he saying? Oh, what do I think? Um, hmm. He was being mean at that time. Like, I'm really sure that he's going to turn around at some point, you know? Using Mayron Paradise paint in yellow, I'm going to add more texture to the peach, continuing to bring that color towards the center. so and I don't know. The second one's way sadder than the first one, but I don't know. I love the thought Using NYX Cosmetics White Liquid Eyeliner, I'm going to use this to add highlights to the peach. so and I don't know. I really love being loved, but I also really love not crying on the phone. I love the thought of being with you, or maybe it's the I used a black eyeliner so to outline around the peach. It looks really a little crazy now, but I'll clean it up later. Yeah. So now what I did to the first Hi, peach, I'm going to do to the rest yeah. of them. What's going on? She told me a lot about you, and I think it's great that you're doing all those things. You should keep doing all of them, I... Remember to have that central oh, yeah, point and color towards that rapper, center. Not really a rapper. I play guitar sometimes, just not as good as Derek. And like, she's just the nicest person in the whole wide world. And like, you probably know because you sleep next to her every night. You guys probably like cuddle and kiss and whatnot. But like, she's just such a nice gal. And like, she's just a peach. She's a peach scone pop. One more thing. Um. Once again, adding texture with the Mayron Yellow Paradise paint. I just really hope that she doesn't get hurt, man. They say it takes two years to come back down to earth from that. I added some white to bring it out more. I heard it's so nice. And I heard it's so nice and it's good for you. And if you just find someone who loves you for who you are. Using the white liquid liner to highlight again. Because that's what matters in this life. For the peach slices, I'm going to fill them in with the yellow eyeshadow. Using Mayron Paradise paint in red, I'm going to begin coloring in the peel and the part where the peach comes off the pit. I'm mixing this with yellow so I can get orange and I'm just going to paint a curved line along the bottom. Taking the red, I'm just going to add a bunch of dots towards the top center. Add a squiggly line along the bottom of those dots. Using an orange eyeshadow, I have shaded along the perimeter of the peach slice, and mixing a little bit of white with yellow, I am painting rectangular segments as highlight. And then taking the white again, I'm just going to add some highlights to make the peach slice appear juicy. I took black eyeliner and I outlined certain parts of the peach just so it's not all blending into one another. And paint, peach, repeat. So taking Lux Glam Cosmetics Glow Lighter in the shade Cleopatra, I'm going to give my face that pretty peachy golden glow. I go ahead and highlight my eyebrows, the bridge of my nose, and my cheeks. I also highlight certain parts of the peach as well. I'm using NYX Cosmetics Matte Black Liquid Eyeliner. This step is going to be skipped because I do it so many times in other videos. I'm using NYX Retractable Lip Liner and Cocoa from earlier to line my lips. And then I'm going to fill my lips with the shade Doll Parts and Nude Beach from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Then I'm going to top it off with NYX Duo Chromatic Lip Gloss and Cocktail Party. I 
I low-key didn't like how my lips turned out so I blotted and I'm now applying ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Revere over the top of my lips. Go ahead and pop in my contacts. And the lashes I'll be wearing is from House of Lashes in the style Knockout. Okay, so I went ahead and put on my Elsa wig from Trendy Wigs, and just like that, the look is done. I've got peaches, I've got peaches, I've got peaches today, hey, hey. Bruh, look at that. This Smelly Cats is my third can of peaches during this filming process. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this tutorial and want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're not already, make sure to follow me on IG at O'Malley. Until next time, Mally Cats.